What's up guys, Mikkel here, and did the SEC accidentally just put themselves in a position where they are going to be forced to admit that the token itself is not a security? Guys, in this video, I want to show you what John Deaton just had to say, something big that just happened in the library case, because guys, this might prove that the SEC has been wrong this entire time. The token itself is not the security, it's how you sell the token. Guys, in this video, I want to go over that as well as a potential massive black swan that could be around the corner now guys this is not just being mentioned in the cryptocurrency community elon musk just said that this could be the largest financial crisis in history guys make sure to stick around till the end of the video to see that you are not going to want to miss it like always guys your support means so much to this channel if you want to see more videos just like this make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below and turn on bell notifications these three simple things go such a long way in helping this channel grow and it really does mean so much to me. If you guys ever need a good place to buy some XRP, make sure to check out my link for Uphold down in the description below. Uphold is my favorite place to buy and sell XRP. With that said though, guys, let's jump right into the video, and I hope you guys enjoy the content. So guys, real quick, Moomoo just upped their holiday promotion, and you can now win 20 free stocks if you sign up with Moomoo using the link in the description of this video. Guys, you can also win a chance to win $60,000 in their holiday sweepstakes. Guys, Moomoo is an awesome trading platform. They have a great interface, and they're regulated. So guys, do not miss out on this opportunity to get some free money, and go sign up with Moomoo now using the link in the description of this video. So guys, I want to start out this video and go over a pretty massive development that's happening right now. John Deaton is leading the charge on it, and it's just not getting enough attention. So right now, John Deaton is actually getting involved in the library versus SEC case. And guys, John Deaton might have the SEC in checkmate here and admitting the LBC token itself is not a security. John Deaton tweeted out last night, This amicus brief is only 8 pages. I challenge anyone to read it and then try to classify the LBC token acquired by Naomi Brockwell as securities. It can't be done. Even the most ardent SEC backer will concede that not a single Howie factor is satisfied here. So guys, what John Deaton is doing here, and this is really a brilliant move by him. Because Naomi Brockwell, she's an influencer who uses the library platform, because she filed an amicus brief in the library versus SEC case, she is entitled to resolution on what the classification for her LBC tokens are. Because Library the company is going to be going bankrupt, John Deaton is essentially representing Naomi and saying, okay, well now we need clarity on what LBC is if Library is no longer around, so the LBC token cannot be a security of Library. The reason why this is potentially massive is one of the things the SEC has been trying to argue throughout the entire library case and the Ripple SEC case is that the token itself, the LBC token or XRP, is inherently a security. What John Deaton is proving here is that cannot be the case. How is LBC going to be a security of library if library is no longer a company? What this shows is that the SEC's theory that the token itself is the security is completely wrong. The security status has nothing to do with the token or the underlying asset. It's how a company sells the asset. So now that library's gone, what John Deaton is forcing the SEC to do is admit that LBC is not inherently a security. That means any LBC being traded on the secondary market cannot be considered a security of library. Library's going to be gone, and John Deaton has the potential to actually codify this in law. The reason this could potentially be massive for the Ripple SEC case is this is one of the main arguments of Ripple. XRP itself is not inherently a security. Therefore, the SEC can't just come out and say, every single time Ripple sells XRP, that's a securities transaction. It doesn't make any sense. The SEC should have to look at every single sale that Ripple has done of XRP and determine why that transaction violated securities laws. This is something the SEC has been unable to do. The fact of the matter is, there is no investment contract between XRP and Ripple. There is no rights I get to Ripple the company for holding XRP. Therefore, just as John Deaton is proving in his amicus brief to the library case, the same thing applies. The token itself cannot be considered a security. This is a huge issue for the SEC because that means they don't actually have authority over the spot market. They only have authority when a company is offering their specific token to the public. There, the SEC might be able to say that's a securities transaction. 
But that doesn't mean the token is in any way illegal or in any way violates securities laws. Me and you holding the token, that is not any kind of securities violation. That doesn't make any sense, but that is one of the SEC's core arguments. What this does, and John Deaton is doing a fantastic job by getting involved in this case at this critical time, what this does is it really does get XRP holders completely out of this case. I think because of what John Deaton is doing right here, there is almost a 0% chance that XRP holders are ever going to have any kind of issue with the SEC later down the road. Now with that said, that doesn't mean all of Ripple's problems with the SEC are solved. Ripple still could have had some offers that did violate securities transactions. But the important thing to note is, it's not every single time Ripple sold XRP. The SEC has to identify specific transactions because it's looking more likely than ever that the idea that the token itself is inherently a security, therefore every single sale ever done by Ripple was a securities violation, is completely false and doesn't make any sense. Because of this, it's looking more likely than ever that XRP holders are going to have no repercussions of this case, and if anything, if Ripple does have any repercussions, they are going to be severely limited to what the SEC can prove was actually a securities transaction violation and the SEC is not going to be able to push forward with their extremely broad argument that every single movement of XRP is a securities violation because the token itself is a security. That is nonsense and what John Deaton is doing right now in the library case is proving that. So guys, now I want to move on and cover something equally absurd that the SEC has been saying for the last couple of years and that is saying that it is very clear what is a security and what is not. Well, I think we illustrated in the first half of the video that not even the SEC fully understands what is and what is not a security. They're trying to call the token itself a security, and that's being proven right now that that's not the case. But guys, it gets even worse because the SEC themselves have been out there confusing people on what is and what is not a security. Guys, take a look at this. This is actually directly from the SEC in 2016 when they were actually in a different case involving Ripple. And guys, take a look at how they address XRP. They say that Ripple Labs is a company using a digital currency. Right here, the SEC is calling XRP a digital currency, not a digital security. The SEC is changing their definition of XRP depending on how it suits them. The SEC has no clear idea of exactly what XRP is. Sometimes they call it a digital currency, sometimes they call it a digital security. If it was clear and obvious, it would always be a digital security, but the fact of the matter is, the SEC has changed their mind on what XRP is depending on who the head of the commission is. The most clear thing to come out of the SEC in the past 10 years in regards of cryptocurrencies is that the SEC's view of what a cryptocurrency is will change with every single different person who takes takes the helm at the SEC. This just shows that nothing the SEC says can be taken at face value. They are willing to completely change their definition of what an asset is based on how it benefits them. This is why we really do need the courts involved in this process. This is why Ripple is actually lucky they are in this case against the SEC. For Ripple, it's not going to come down to what the SEC thinks XRP is. It's not going to come down to what corrupt politicians think XRP is. It's going to come down to what the judicial system says XRP is, and that is based on prior securities law. Guys, everything we have seen shows that this should put XRP in a status that's not a security, and I trust the courts and judges. Judge Torres will make this proper definition, and I think people like John Deaton are also playing their part to make sure this happens. But guys, I want to finish this video off and talk about a massive black swan that could be right around the corner. And guys, this is not just me saying this could be a potential issue. Right here, we have Kathy Wood and Elon Musk both saying that this could potentially be the biggest financial crisis out there. So guys, what is happening here? Will it affect crypto? We're going to break that down. But first, I just want to give you guys a very, very brief idea of what is happening here. Essentially, this has to do with car loans. I know what you're thinking. I thought the same thing. Car loans, that could be the biggest financial crisis we've ever seen. Not my words, they're the words of Elon Musk, but apparently, in short, what is going on here, apparently because cars went up so much in price over the last two years and now are dropping, so many people got super, super expensive loans that they can no longer afford. Therefore, all the different loan companies are being forced to repossess all the cars, and apparently this is going to cause some massive issues in our financial markets. 
So guys, I don't think this is going to have any potential direct impact on cryptocurrencies, but I think what's important to note here, and this is really the main point of why I bring this up, we have seen a lot of turmoil in the lending market for cryptocurrencies, but we're starting to see these same issues spill over into our traditional markets. What this shows you is the problems being seen in crypto right now are not crypto specific. We are watching a massive issue unfold in our traditional market. It's just that crypto was first to fall. What we're going to see, and I have a feeling this is going to happen, we are going to see these same things that happened in crypto spill over to the traditional financial market. And what this shows you most importantly is that crypto isn't some scam because we had these issues over the last couple of years. The same things are going to happen in the traditional markets. And I just think this is so important to understand because a lot of people bring up the current issues going on in the crypto markets right now and act like it's all because of cryptocurrencies themselves. Guys, that could not be further from the truth. The people who are really involved, the people who are spreading this FUD, know that these same issues are happening in the traditional financial system, but they just want you out of crypto. I want to finish this video off and show you this. The Bank of International Settlements announces a new policy that allows banks to hold 2% of their reserves in cryptocurrency. Guys, this is not something that happens because some industry is just going to go away because it's just a scam. The problems happening in crypto right now are not because of crypto. They're because of interest rates or because of the Federal Reserve. And guys, it is a problem in all markets, not just crypto. While these issues go on, while prices go down, the big boys are going to scoop up the assets. Don't get fudded out. Buy alongside them. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. It really does mean so much. And for now, pickle out. Woo!